hey, more LaunchBox, and this time with Nintendo 64, and you can play it with not only Mupin 64, you can also use Project 64, both great emulators. I know there's a heated debate which one is better, uh, but really quick, how do you set this all up? How do you make it look this great? How do you get the box art and everything else? First thing to do is install your emulators. Go ahead and go to Manage Emulators, and go ahead and Add. And the cool thing about this is you can either just type MuPen or you can go ahead and type Project 64. And uh, it'll auto populate here and you'll have a little right clicker here. Click here to download Project 64. All right, with MuPen, it'll take you to this website right here. You can go download and then just go MuPen 64 for Windows and you're done. Uh, Project 64, you could go ahead and click here, get Project 64 for Windows. Go ahead and download it and run through the whole install and just find, figure out where did you install it to. You want to know where you installed it to because, for example, when you go to MuPin, you, you got to tell it where is this emulator on your computer. So we got to go find it. So on my computer, it was on my C drive under Program Files, under MuPin, and uh, there it is. I just tell it where it is. There's MuPin. And then uh, if I want it to be my default, you can go ahead and click this and it'll be your default emulator and then just press OK. So I've already done that. I've added MuPen and Project 64. You can see it has a path and everything. So now I just can right click and can open it with anything. But it's actually not set up out of the box. You do need to go ahead and open up MuPen and Project 64 and configure not only the graphics but the controllers first. So for Project 64, that's pretty easy. Just click Project 64, Options, Configure Graphics Plugin. Here's my uh, resolution. You can change the resolution, things like that. Just make sure this is all set the way you want it. You can mess with different resolutions, make it bigger, make it smaller. This is going to give you the best graphics but you could stretch it out a little bit. And then a full screen resolution, when you make it a full screen, what do you want it to look like? Do you want it to stay small or get bigger with your own screen? And then uh, configure controller plugin. I have a um, Xbox 360 controller plugged in right now. So I want to go ahead and controller one. And I can go ahead and click up here and then press up on my gamepad. Press left on my gamepad, right on my gamepad. And I'm just going to, I would just go around doing that and make sure you don't get the mouse. Um, and then A, B, X, Y, just go ahead and go through all the controllers and then click save. And then you're all set up for Project 64. That should be all you need to do. With MuPin, very, very similar pro process. You just want to find the correct folder, click on the program, and go over here. I, I couldn't hit these. I had to go into settings and then get to these, but go ahead and do your video plug in here. I'm running the Glide 64. The DirectX works just as well. Um, What's your input? You, the input plugin, I wouldn't really worry about that. You could still change your controls later. And uh, this all worked for me just fine. You can play around with that if you want. Input settings, there we go. And here we can go ahead and you want to go over to devices and make sure you go ahead and click the, I have my Afterglow gamepad for the XPad installed. You can mess with the dead zone if you want. And then here you're going to do the same thing. So up, left, right down and just go through your whole controller setup again through all these controls analog stick everything else and you're done go ahead and save it all right now you just got to add your rom so i'm just taking this off of uh, mad little pixels two terabyte also there's a lot of other websites i'm sure someone will put a link in the description how to get roms it's very easy and uh, you just need to tell uh launchbox where your roms are at so you can go ahead and go over to here import rom files next uh, you can do add the whole folder or add files, so add a folder. So for example, I have my my um, two terabyte drive hooked up, games, and then I'm just going to type N for Nintendo. Go down to Nintendo, Nintendo 64, next. It's going to go for Nintendo 64. Emulator, you can choose your default emulator, next. Um, I, I just keep it on the hard drive rather than take space on my computer, but you can copy them over to your computer as well. So um, use the files in their current location. Search for the game information. Yes, you want to do that. And then my box art or any other kind of art you want. Go ahead and select what you want to show here for the visuals. And uh, I don't have videos on. And then do you want it to, do, you could do these settings if you want. This is all up to you. This, this affects the aesthetics and how it's all set up. And then... Uh, you can go next, and then this is all parsing the files now. And then so it generated this list. Here are all the games. And then I would just do finish, and it would go ahead and load them all. But I've already done it here. 
so I don't need to do it again. So let's try Killer Instinct as a game that doesn't run on the Raspberry Pi. That'd be a great game to play on your, so you just go ahead and launch with Project 64. And there you go, it's launched. Uh, you can have it launched directly into full screen mode or just alt and return to go into full screen. And here we are in Killer Instinct Gold, full screen. A little bit of glitching here, actually. But uh, this is this is stretching it quite a bit. So um, we can press escape at any time to go back. So let's go back, let's launch it again. So this is with a lower resolution now. Again, alt enter gets us in the full screen. All right, now let's try it with uh, Mupin, running at a way lower resolution here. Alright, so you get it, right? It actually, the menu's a little weird, but once you're in the game, both run it really, really well. Uh, Wave Race is another game that runs a little laggy on the, um, on the Pi 3. But as you see here, let's go all enter, let's make it a little bigger. Wave Race! Now it is stretched out. Warm up. Select your watercraft, please. Welcome to Dolphin Park. Warm up time. Follow that dolphin. To start racing, select Start the Race from the pause screen menu. buddy all right all right so that that's it I mean here we are back in um, launch box you know you get your metadata you have all that good stuff over there it's a really beautiful front end and uh, you have your choice between Mupin project 64 it'll run all these games without any sort of lag whatsoever so really cool way to play those classic Nintendo 64 games play the whole catalog, no issues whatsoever. If you have even a decent laptop, it should run these with no issues whatsoever. Let me know, let me know if you guys got any questions. Otherwise, throw a little like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and we'll catch you on the next one.